Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Syracuse Unpeeled. I'm Sarah Rebecci. And I'm Landon Wexler. And tonight we're breaking down the highlights of the AMAs. And James, Gun James Gunz's decision to move to DC. Our campus events reporter will then be sitting down with the Autotunes to discuss upcoming event Cagapella. And finally, we'll be playing Don't Forget the Lyrics with our musical guests. Get this, as a Banksy painting was sold at the Sotheby's Art Show, it self-destructed. Needless to say, it left the audience in the world speechless. Banksy's nearly one and a half million dollar girl with a balloon painting began shredding itself immediately after the auction hammer slammed. Many are speculating it was Banksy himself who remotely triggered the shredding, while others believe the auction venue was given prior knowledge of the stunt. Now, people are left questioning the message behind the prank, as well as how the artwork itself has changed in value. So, Landon, what are you thinking about this? Because I know that that painting was sold for half a million, or, or million dollars and a half. Or million and 1. a half, 1.4 yeah. million or something around Close that. Close enough, really. Which is insane, and then all of a sudden it just starts shredding in the middle of the gallery right after the auction, like right after it happened, right after it was sold. Could you imagine, you buy a, you, that's a huge investment, you know, yeah. 1.4 yeah. million, sold, all right, perfect, I want, and you start seeing it shred. It's just absolutely going down. What the and, heck? But Sotheby's, like where the where the auction was being held, um, was said that we'd been Banksied. So they were like, you know, kind of having like a joke about it. Yeah, I mean, I think this, really guy, interesting. this guy might as well be half artist, half magician, you know, yeah. it, he's doing it all, you know, at this point. Yeah, exactly. And this isn't his first stunt, right? Yeah, no, he's done this before, back in, um, I think, 2006, where he had the Guantanamo Bay stunt, where he put, like, a prisoner-looking like person right in the middle of Disneyland. I can't even sneak outside drinks into Disneyland. Yeah, true I that. don't know how he got artwork into Disneyland. Once again, the magician slash artist that he is, killing the game, really. Yeah. My gosh. Absolutely incredible. And I think he also, back in 2013, he was on the street like selling his artwork for $60 and people didn't believe it because it's worth so much. We so still he's, need it. Yeah, so basically like he's pranking people all the time. So this is just crazy what happened. And we have no idea what his face even looks like. So you know, the adventure really continues. Yeah. And moving on, looking at Captain America, is Chris Evans leaving his role as Captain America? After wrapping up filming on the fourth Avengers film, Evans tweeted out an emotional message thanking fans and crew for their hard work and support, saying, quote, thank you for the memories. His announced retirement has fans speculating how the franchise will continue without him. Evans began playing Captain America in 2011 after 10 films with the role. It is undeniable that his exit will impact the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And yet, my gosh, 10 films into ten it. 10 films. That's dedication. And it's hard. It must be hard, not only like career wise, yeah. but emotionally to leave a role like that, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. But I think apparently, like, it's been speculating before that he wanted to leave because he, like, said in like a quote before that you want to get off the train before they push you off the train. Ooh. So he's leaving it while it's hot. Maybe this is a really big career move for him. I mean, with this industry, like the Hollywood yeah. industry is so, it's always changing. And yeah. I think if, if it's not like a fresh face, I mean, Chris Evans, yeah. he is a stud and all. He is a stud. Well, but, maybe he's moving on to other projects. I mean, this is also just speculation. Like, there's no confirmed announcement about it right now. It's just because he tweeted saying it was an honor to have worked with everyone that like is on his most recent film. Yeah. So it's not set in stone. Yeah, definitely can't complain at yeah. that point. He's doing well. He um, and to move even farther on, AMAs were last night, and as always, they were a night to remember. Cardi B and Drake led the pack with eight nominations each, but other artists ended up taking home the Ws. Cardi took home just one award for favorite rap slash hip hop artist, and Drake, and just hold on, Drake is going home with zero. Ooh. Taylor Swift stole the show, performing the opening act and taking home four awards herself, including Artist of the Year. And Post Malone turned heads, debuting his new haircut and taking home two awards, including Favorite Male Pop Rock Artist. Well, Post Malone is, he's so incredible. He's so part, great. Part of his, his iconic image his slash, it's all about his hair and yeah. his, his look, you know? It's new, he has a new haircut. He's very, I think it's more clean, you know? Do you think so? A little bit. Do you really think so? A little bit. He's got a little fro, it kind of looks like he still needs a shampoo a little oh, bit. But well, <laughs> all right, well he makes great Shoot. music and that's really all that matters. It's the voice, you're right, you're absolutely yeah. right. But that, it was interesting to see how he completely, like he changed his hair yeah. and you know, it's it's a lot. But this he isn't really like, hard. but yeah, like, as outside of that, Outside of Post Malone, Tracy Ellis Lee Ross host. What do you think yeah. of Tracy? Well, I loved her, and she said that all of her out outfits throughout the night were only going to be by um, 
uh, designers that were like people of color, so like all black designers, which I thought was really cool, bringing like diversity through fashion, which was really awesome. And she's hilarious. I love her. She's so like um, eloquent when she speaks and funny and just really out there and really outgoing. And I love that about her. No doubt. And Hollywood um, just keeps on. But what improving. do you think about Taylor Swift, her opening number? Her opening number, well, T Swift. T Swift has. Her music has my heart as well. First She's of all, welcome back, right? Big time. Th I was three years without a single three award show years, performance, yeah. and now she's back. And what? She got three awards. Yeah, yeah, no, she three. definitely did get three awards, which is great. She's like making a huge comeback, and she's definitely um, she performed for something from her uh, album Reputation, and she absolutely killed it. Killed it. Not only that, she also made headlines for. Uh, she also made headlines because she's now the most decorated AMA artist ever. Yeah, On top of incredible. what used to be late Whitney Houston, she had the, the yeah. record at first, for sure. Yeah, and and looking at um, like Cardi B's performance, Taryn Killam from SNL had his jaw dropping, and that was a viral meme going throughout um, all the internet. Good old Cardi. <laughs> Good old Cardi. Um, and let's see, uh, what else is next? Okay, so after the break, our sports reporter, Chris Sachi, joins us to discuss Conor McGregor's UFC return. Stick around, Unpeelers. Um, 